Arkeo Moiland. Most of the time, we exert ourselves to make our characters as deep and dimensional as we can. Because the best characters are those who are complex and even dichotomous, we're always trying to create characters who demonstrate all the contradictory intricacy of real-life humans. But, try as we might, we are never going to accomplish this. If only because of the time and space limitations of a story, our characters are always going to be far less multifaceted than our real-life humans. Actually, when you come right down to it, we have no choice but to simplify our characters, since if we tried to include all the contradictions of a real person, our readers would be thoroughly confused. But, in recognizing this limitation, we can actually use it to strengthen our characters and, more importantly, strengthen our reader's perception of our characters. Today I want you to do something really far out and think about your character. I know, big stretch for all of you writer types. But what I want you to do is think about how you would define that character if you had to limit your definition to just one word. Of course, this one word is not going to cover all the bases when it comes to this character. A well-drawn character will always offer more than one dimension. But usually, we can narrow him down to one specific trait that sums up the essence of his personality. Heathcliff was vengeful, Han Solo was sarcastic, Scarlett O'Hara was conniving. If you're familiar with these characters, then you know this doesn't begin to cover all of their important facets. But, because their authors focused on these traits until they became larger than life, these are the traits for which we remember them. These are the traits that make them memorable. And who among us doesn't want to create a character who is just as endearing? Mm -hmm.